channel this is the beginning of what i'm sure will be my most exciting vlog to date this is going to be our full nova scotia vlog so we arrived this morning our flight was at six o'clock bright and early and i will say to any toronto people pearson is definitely a mess but we made it and we've had a wonderful day so far. We went immediately to pick up our car and then we went downtown Halifax and started to explore all it has to offer. I will say that so far, our first impression is that the downtown is definitely bumping and full of life. So we've just come back to our Airbnb. Post travel showers hit different. We also had a power nap and now we're ready to take on the waterfront in the evening. So we have a couple places that have been recommended to us that we're gonna try to get in. Mind you, it's a Saturday night, so things are going to be busy, so we'll just see how it plays out. But we are at our beautiful first Airbnb. It is wonderful and has a plenty of little details that I so appreciate. So I'll give you a full walkthrough of this Airbnb. We're gonna be staying here twice on our trip. And we will be rating all the Airbnbs that we stay in and I will be including all of the links in the description below if you are coming to Nova Scotia or plan to and you want to stay in these Airbnbs, I will make it nice and easy for you. So let's go ahead and do a tour of the first one and then we are going to take on the town. Welcome to our first Airbnb in Halifax. This is the quaint on quarry. We were welcomed with a sweet little message board and I absolutely love the cozy and vintage inspired decor of this Airbnb. The epic make lemonade sign, a washer and dryer if required. And then over here we have a little pop of color for the coffee bar and some snacks and drinks which were very appreciated. Over here behind this farm door we had a toaster, a microwave, and a fridge that was stocked with water bottles plus some tea and coffee and then we move on to the bathroom love the coastal detailing in here they had a great shower head which was lovely and then we had a walk-in closet which was so convenient for all of our luggage and just a really nice space to hang your clothes and get situated ryan is sitting over here on the super comfortable sectional there was tons of games here plus guides to halifax restaurants and sites to see plus a big tv with netflix and everything you could need and then our bed i loved the open concept in this airbnb and it was absolutely lovely would highly recommend trip we had a wonderful evening last night downtown Halifax and had a much 
needed sleep last night in our beautiful Airbnb. So today we are going to be road tripping to Peggy's Cove, the iconic Peggy's Cove lighthouse and Fishertown that I am so excited to see. And then we are going to be moving on to Lunenburg. So Lunenburg is super raved about for the culture, the beautiful buildings that are super colorful and all of these shops and places to see and eat so I'm really excited to see what all the hype is about. We have left a lot of availability for restaurants um, and we've been using that as a way to ask locals where to eat so we had a local recommendation yesterday that we went to the Bar Sophia that we were at and it was awesome and then today we are going to be going for dinner at a place that we were recommended by a local as well so that's the way that i like to do it i just think that you know the locals always know best i think that there are places that are really convenient and have a really nice view but that doesn't always mean that they are the best spot in town or the best food and i am a foodie so i will be listing all the restaurants that we go to if i recommend them below and we are going to get our day started we are going to find some coffee we are going to get on the road and hopefully beat the crowd to peggy's cove so can't wait to continue to spend time with you guys and to show you all of these beautiful sights i'm so excited for our day let's go by the way this is our car for the week not bad not bad at all okay so we're gonna rate our first airbnb we will be back to this airbnb in a couple days i think i would rate it a five out of what five <laughs> yeah five out of five it had a lot of nice little touches like coffee and tea and water bottles and shampoo conditioner like all that nice stuff and just really nice decor and the communication was very good with the house and easy check-in and clean yeah and what would you rate it five out of five five out of five yeah. and then your favorite very nice first stop it was yeah. and then my favorite restaurant so far was the waterfront warehouse i think where we had our oysters seafood chowder and you had fish and chips. Yeah. And what's yours? Um, same. The fish and chips was very good. We're off to a good yeah. start. And now we're going to find some coffee. Peggy's Cove was one of the highlights of our entire trip. Although this is a typical tourist site while visiting Nova Scotia, there is a reason it is so popular. We decided to visit early in the morning in hopes to avoid the crowds and this turned out to be an excellent choice. While in Peggy's Cove, you are surrounded by scenic beauty everywhere you turn. We spent our morning here observing the iconic lighthouse, watching the waves roll in, listening to the bagpipes playing in the background and soaking up the sunshine. If you do visit this location, be sure to stay off the black rocks. This is a cause for injury or worse at the Peggy's Cove site every single year. There was something so surreal about this fisherman village and I'm so happy we got the chance to experience this and spend our morning here before heading down the road to get the best lobster roll of our entire trip at Tom's Lobster Shack. But I still love her, I don't really care. When we were young, oh, we did enough. When it got cold. Okay, we are here with our Tom's Lobster Shack lobster roll. Apparently this is the best lobster roll and he was on the Food Network. So I have been dreaming about this so far. It's aesthetically living up to the hype and we both got the classic. How excited are you? Oh, so I've been waiting for it. <laughs> I just want to say that, that was the best thing that I've ever eaten in my entire life. Do you have anything that you'd like to say? Definitely worth it. It's delicious. <laughs> and I don't blame you.
it up Keep your love Keep your head up My love Keep your head Welcome to our second Airbnb in Lunenburg. This is the Big Red Roof. The warm, rustic decor in this Airbnb provided such a home away from home feeling. This Airbnb had absolutely everything you could need, a kitchenette area, complimentary tea, coffee, and treats with a seating area with a perfect view of the free range chickens and hens on the property, and a beautifully finished bathroom with modern chrome finishes. Like, can we just take a second for the decor in this Airbnb? I was absolutely obsessed. I loved that the bedroom upstairs was its own separate floor. There was a queen bed that was super comfortable, a TV just to the left of me, and I also absolutely loved not carrying my bags once on this trip. <laughs> Ladies, get you a man that treats you this way. This Airbnb was superb and the host was an absolute delight. This was one of our favorite Airbnbs and I would highly recommend it if you're in the Lunenburg area. Okay guys, we have had such an awesome day so far. I've obviously got quite a bit of sun. So we just came back to this adorable Airbnb and now we are going to go back into Lunenburg to get some drinks and have some dinner at the place that was recommended to us by a local, so we're gonna try to get there early so we can get a spot, but I am obsessed with Lunenburg. I was obsessed with Peggy's Cove. I'm obsessed with our Airbnb. I feel like it's gonna be really hard to top this day, but somehow I believe we will. Okay guys, that's a wrap on today. This was such a wonderful day. We loved Peggy's Cove, we loved Lunenburg, and this is just one of those days that I feel like we're gonna remember for the rest of our life. So we are going to wrap up the day, relax, and then we will be up and at it and ready to take on Wolfville tomorrow. So thanks for spending the day with us and we will see you in the morning. We are leaving Airbnb number two. We're gonna rate it out of five. Ready? Three, two, one, five. Four point five. Why? <laughs> okay, you go first. No, I'll bump it up to a five. <laughs> okay, the host was so nice. Like she was so tentative and just so worried to make sure it was like the most wonderful stay. And honestly, I would venture to guess that she's like an interior designer of some sort. Like the inside was so aesthetically pleasing and nice and we had a very comfortable sleep and just little touches it was very very nice and then favorite spot that we ate yesterday three two one lobster tom's shack. lobster shack <laughs> yeah that's like a must go if you're well first of all peggy's cove was like the best thing we did yesterday it was just such a wonderful quaint little fisherman's town i just loved it but someone might call it iconic some may call it iconic but Tom's Lobster Shack was so good, so worth the hype. 
and we told two people that we met to go there and then we saw them later on when we were in Lunenburg and they said it was almost worth not getting another lobster roll while they were on the remainder of their trip because like nothing's going to be that good. So we are off to Wolfville today. We are going to be doing a winery, cidery, brewery tour. We are excited and we are en route now to Wolfville. Scotia tour. This is the Stella Rose Bed and Breakfast. It is rated the top bed and breakfast in Nova Scotia, and it is conveniently located in the heart of Wolfville. We stayed in the Sunrise Terrace where we enjoyed our spacious and bright room, which included a comfortable queen bed, a jacuzzi, love seat and television, complimentary refreshments, and a private balcony which overlooked the floral gardens. The owners provided us exceptional service in a quiet and relaxed setting and a top-notch breakfast in the morning. The hosts also offer personal wine tours to their guests. If you plan to visit Wolfville while in Nova Scotia, I would highly recommend this stay. Okay guys, we just had a little power nap and some time to recharge after a full day of alcohol sunshine and walking so we love Wolfville so far the landscape is just so picturesque and everything is so beautiful and unique and it's just such an authentic like winery town so we love the bed and breakfast we're in right now they have a beautiful dog on site his name is chico and if you don't like dogs and you plan to stay here they are very respectful and understanding of that but the owners are so nice 
We have an amazing breakfast that's being prepared by one of the owners tomorrow morning that we're really looking forward to. So we just set that up. And then we're definitely gonna go to a church brewery just down the road from us that it's a church that was renovated into a restaurant that apparently they spent seven million dollars to turn it into what it is today so definitely want to at least check that out really just loving our trip so far i'm so grateful to be here and just for all we've experienced we've done so much in so little time um, but my heart is so full, my stomach is so full, my camera roll is so full. Looking forward to tonight. Let's get freshened up and then we will hit the town. Ryan's first bed and breakfast experience. For yeah. a bed and breakfast, I would rate that a five. It was definitely very charming and the owners were very, very nice. We had a great sleep, we had a very big room and the breakfast was 10 out of 10. What did you think of your first bed and breakfast experience? Yeah, I'd give it a five. Give it a five. Yeah. <laughs> they we, were... we didn't get killed, that was good. <laughs> yeah, Ryan was a bit, apprehensive about staying yeah. in a bed and breakfast but it was very sweet yeah. it was and quaint. the breakfast put it over the top yes it five did out of five. so now it's gonna rain all day we're gonna be driving for a couple hours so goodbye wolfville and we're going to cape breton Welcome to our fourth stay of the week. This is the Warren Doorstep Airbnb. This spacious and bright guest suite is located in the heart of Bedeck. It included a queen bed, a very large bathroom, a kitchenette with a mini fridge, couch and television, a small private back patio, and a shared barbecue space. Although we never got to meet them, the host was very friendly and had great communication. This Airbnb was walking distance to several restaurants and hotspots in Bedeck, and as always, it's a bonus to have a reserved parking space. Okay guys, we have made it to Bedeck. Today was a very travel heavy day. We spent about four and a half hours in the car to get here from Wolfville, and now we are going to be spending the next three days traveling the Cabot Trail. We're starting today in Bedeck, then going up to Pleasant Bay, and then we're gonna be ending in Bedeck as well, staying in a different um, Airbnb. So it was supposed to be a very rainy day today. It turned out to be just windy, but we still made it to the iconic Fright Shed and ate outside near the water and had a delicious lunch. So we just had a little recharge session, and now we're going to be going to Lobster Suppers for dinner to have lobster and crab, and we are so excited. So Ryan just needs to get his butt out of bed and start to get ready so that we can go stuff our faces and can't wait to bring you along. But I smell. We're walking. <laughs> We're walking to go eat our body weight in lobster and quail. 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 Lobster suppers, it's all you can eat, seafood chowder, and mussels. So, so you can get as much chowder and mussels as you want, which we did. We got a big bucket of mussels <laughs> times two. And then I got the lobster, and we had snow crab. 
and they were plentiful and we yeah. also got drinks and dessert and all of that and all of that is only $55 so like that's honestly a very good deal to be that honest. Was good. It was delicious. Our server was so nice. Everyone was so nice and we are so full and we were just talking about the fact that that's probably rated our number two meal. So Tom's Lobster Shack you would say right? Yep. Is still our best and then this was number two. It was just like it was messy. It was it was authentic. Yeah, it, it was, was just local. Like, it was just like a local place. Like you go there, get messy. They're not trying to impress you, and you just have. It's local. Yeah. Lobster local. Dessert was definitely fresh. Yeah. I feel like that was local as well. So overall, the more local, the better. And we are stuffed, so <laughs> we're just gonna take a seat here and try and let our food digest, and then we're going to bed, and then we will see you in the morning as we continue on the Cabot Trail. Good night. <laughs> we just got our coffee from Bean There Cafe in Badek and we have a jam-packed day today. Um, we have a lot of options of things that we could do and want to do, but we will see how things play out timing-wise. Just left our Airbnb. Out of five, I would rate that... I would rate that as like a three. There was nothing wrong with it. It was it was clean, but I feel like I personally like to stay at Airbnbs for like the little details and the things that make it homey and that was just more of like a place to stay. There was no extras, like there was not even like water bottles or like anything. There was just like the basics, um, but there it was a huge space, lots of natural lighting there. We had a good sleep and it's right downtown Bedeck, so perfect location. Nothing wrong with it, it just wasn't my favorite. What would you say about it? Yeah, I think the same. Three? Yeah. Didn't tonight, have that homey touch, like no. you said. But tonight, we have what I think will be our favorite Airbnb that I'm really excited about. So, we will get on the road and we will take you with us along our adventures today. Cheers. and favorite stay in Nova Scotia. This is the Trailhead Guest Cottage in Pleasant Bay. The guest cottage is located on a gorgeous property and includes a queen bed, a large private deck, and a three-piece bathroom. It also has a kitchenette area with simple cooking amenities on site. My favorite part of this stay was the most dreamy outdoor shower that overlooked the property, mountains, and the ocean. The host lives next door and is available to help you out if you need anything during your stay. The host also delivers you a farm fresh breakfast to your cottage in the morning. We enjoyed our breakfast and coffee while taking in the views on the property. We even were lucky enough to see some whales. This was the most secluded, peaceful, and calming Airbnb, and we felt so grateful to be able to stay here and soak up the indescribable beauty.
We got arrived and settled in our Airbnb and now we are at the Rusty Anchor. We already had a lobster roll that was highly rated by the Food Network and now we're about to get a lobster roll that was recognized in National Geographic. So we will report back and then we are going on a sunset hike. your bag. <laughs> Flashlight. Flashlight. Granola bars. Granola bars. Vitamin water. Band-aid. Band-aid. Flashlight. Flashlight. Water. Water. Got Whistle. everything. Everything we could need. Who knows what else is in there? Who knows? We were standing in the freezing rain. Honey, how could I forget? Okay, so we have parted ways with our little cottage Airbnb and I would definitely give that a five out of five. There are some things definitely to note. It is off the grid. We did have to go down a dirt road for about 25 minutes. Yeah, um, and we did it during sunset, but I definitely would be scared and hesitant to do it in the dark just because it's very windy and on a cliff and stuff like that inclines declines yes dirt um, roads so not well maintained <laughs> so definitely off the grid but once you get there um the little cottage is so beautiful they've done a lot to just make it really homey and comfortable we had an amazing sleep it was so quiet we've both never seen the stars like that it was so dark out there such a beautiful view on the property and then the outdoor shower we had it at sunset, it was so nice and so romantic and then this morning just overlooking the property while you're having an outdoor shower. I don't think we'll ever have an experience quite like that again that was just mm -hmm. top notch and then our wonderful Airbnb host and her family was so kind to us and this morning gave us a wonderful breakfast that was so good. Yeah. So definitely, if you know what to expect, it's a 5 out of 5. If you're into that type of thing, you could call that glamping. You could call that just like a cottage getaway. Um, it has everything you need. There is no Wi-Fi or service anywhere in Cape Breton. No cell service. Nothing. But luckily and surprisingly, they had... Pleasant Bay. Pleasant Bay. They had Wi-Fi at our cottage, which was unexpected, but it was nice. And yeah, overall, it's just a really, really nice experience there. I would highly recommend that. It was just 
felt very disconnected and just very peaceful. Very just a, one with nature. One with nature, it was. So, what would you rate it? Five. Yeah, it was really that beautiful. Was the best one. It was. It was so beautiful and yeah, just very peaceful. That's the word I'd use to describe it. So now we don't have a lot of plants today. We're just kind of um, exploring the trail. No real plan for the day. We'll just see where it takes us, but beautiful views. <laughs> Okay, so we have now made it to Badek again. We are in our final stay on the Cabot Trail. So this was one of our more last minute bookings because we weren't sure where exactly we wanted to stay for our final night, but this is gonna be easiest for us to head back to Halifax tomorrow. So we have our little sink here, and then this is the bathroom. Everything is very nice and clean in here, and then we were just saying how comfortable these robes feel, so we might throw those on later. And then we have a king bed, little seating area, a television, a very handsome man at my window, and then we do have a little patio right there and a beautiful view of the water. So this is on the main street of Badek, so very central location and very comfortable spot for this evening. We are back. There are not many options here, are there? We're in a small village, so we're back for more. <laughs> when you're out, so you're looking. So we are back in Halifax. The silver dart lodge that we stayed in, in Bedeck. We would rate it... 2.5. <laughs> out of five there was nothing wrong with it it was just again like you stay in airbnbs for the homey feel and this was just more of a hotel there's nothing special about it it was we booked it like two weeks ago it was just a place to sleep the bed was actually really comfortable um but would wouldn't recommend staying there um you can definitely find better especially if you plan farther in advance than we did for that particular stay. And now we are back at our original Airbnb in Halifax that we love so much, so it's nice to be back. We just went and did the main street. It is Canada Day when we're filming this, so it was quite busy, but nothing horrible. And we went to the Bicycle Thief, and that's a very hyped up restaurant, and it definitely lived up to the hype. It was really, really good. The service was amazing, really nice views, really great meal, and yeah, would highly recommend going there. So now we are going to recharge, and then we will decide what we want to do for dinner, if we want to go back into that hustle and bustle, or try and find something more local, but it's our last day. Have you had a good trip? Yeah. Yeah. It's been a great trip. It's been really great. So we're just gonna soak up our last day and then we go to the airport in the morning. Okay guys, we are getting ready to go to our very last dinner of our vacation. We are going to the, um, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> what is it called? Mercantile Social. Mercantile Social that we found and has really good reviews. Looks like it has a very unique menu, so we will see how it goes.
Hey guys, we are back home. We had the most amazing time in Nova Scotia and I really appreciate you watching this video and coming along on our vacation with us. We will definitely be back. Everything we did is listed down below in the description box and that also includes our Airbnbs, their links, our ratings of them. So I really hope if you are going to Nova Scotia, this is something that helps you plan your trip. If there's anything that I miss, please comment down below and I will get back to you. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you in the next vlog.